As night falls, we head towards the graveyard. Looking forward to, to seeing the cemetery. We're going to decorate the tomb that holds several of Catalina's family, including her beloved great-grandmother. Everyone else from the village is here decorating their ancestors' tombs with flowers and candles. They'll be keeping a vigil all night. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María. Soon the local Catholic church joins in the ancient Aztec festivities. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado. It's traditional to sing and play music for the spirits, inviting them back to earth. Everyone wants to make sure the dead feel welcome. I'm beginning to understand how it's possible to celebrate death. But I want to know if Catalina really isn't afraid of dying. If you knew you were going to die tomorrow, would you still see death as something that's funny? Sí, es mucho más fácil. Todos somos seres humanos eh, y la vida es corta. La vida eterna es la verdadera vida. We've cracked the mezcal. So, uh, salud. So we're now having a party, um, a party, uh, an alcohol party in a graveyard. After eight hours, it's time to head home. Well, the graveyard's pretty much empty now. There's a couple of mariachis still singing here. Um, and we're on our way home. It's been freezing cold, so we've been warmed up nicely by a skin full of mezcal. Um, it's been quite a revelation. I've never, never seen death as being such a positive, kind of happy experience before. So um, oh, I feel I feel really exhilarated by by all of this. Here we are. Night night to the dead. It's a way to say goodbye, isn't it? But my excitement is short-lived. Catalina's determined to get me closer to the dead than I ever anticipated. I'm, I'm not much of a superstitious person. But this is what I can see from my bed. Well, it's eight o'clock here in the Room of Doom, but it, it hasn't been a kind of a traumatic night. I have, it has started to sink into me that the memory of you know, dead relatives and, the, and your dead loved ones um, doesn't need to be mournful. It, it can be exciting and it can be happy. Today is day three, when the spirits of adult relatives return. After all this immersing myself in death, I'm beginning to feel more receptive to the idea of them actually coming back. I wonder if I might be able to get in touch with my own dead family, or if it's all still a little out of my reach. Catalina is busy putting photographs of the people she loves most on the altar. And who are these? Él es mi bisabuelo. Él se llamaba Carlos. It's a real Wild West sort of photo, isn't it? Sí. Beautiful. How would you feel if I put um, a couple of photos of mine on here? Would that be appropriate? Las almas no solamente es en, una so en un solo lugar, sino creo yo que en todos lados están. Es universal. Y adelante. How will I know if they're here? Tu corazón te lo dice. So 
So, Catalina, I one photo of my um, my wife's mother, um, who I never met, and who she died when my wife was sixteen. Um, but my grandfather, I we didn't know that he was my grandfather until very recently. So I've just got an entry in in the the um, birth register. Do you think that's okay? Claro, adelante, donde gustes. I think they would. They'd probably like the flowers. I think George's mum would like the flowers. It's quite an emotional idea to do. But it's all right if I sit down for a minute. <laughs> Ahora, ¿qué quisieras platicarles a ellos que están aquí? What a strange idea. Um, uh, I'd like to tell Julia I'm very thankful for Georgia, my wife, and that um, I know Georgia loves her enormously. And it was such a tragedy that she, uh, she died when my wife was 16. Um, and... I so wish that I'd met her. Pues entonces ella ya lo sabe. And and I guess for my grandfather, um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to seem really sentimental and silly. Oh dear me! <laughs> I'm not really used to doing this. Um, well, I wish my, my uh, grandfather knew that uh, he had a son, that, he, um, that my father was alive, because he, he never knew that um, he had a son. Um, and until literally a couple of years ago, I'd never even thought of, of, of somebody else as being my grandfather. So it's, a, um, it's an incredible feeling to, to just sit and concentrate on it for a minute and to think about somebody that, um, somebody that was part of my family that I never knew. Ten por seguro que él lo sabe. Y ten por seguro que él ahora está aquí. Y que ahora conoce a un nieto. Look what you've done to me. I'm a mess. <laughs> ah, it's quite nice. I've never, I've never, um, I've never, uh, cried about them before. Um, and it's quite, uh, it's, they've always, it's always seemed like a horrible sadness, but it is quite uplifting to um, finally sit and concentrate on them and, and think about them. It's sort of cleansing, in a way. Sí. <laughs> Te entiendo. Es lo mismo que estoy sintiendo yo. Esas campanadas anuncian que están con nosotros. I never saw the spirits of Reginald Gates or Juliet Glyn Smith. But much as I hate superstition, to say I didn't feel their presence wouldn't be entirely true. I'm reluctant to say it, but yes, in a strange way, I did meet the dead. Finally, it's time to prepare the Feast of the Dead. Here, it's platter tamale, a corn and tomato-based dish that Oaxacans have been making for centuries. Guadalupe and Catalina are clearly not used to seeing a man in the kitchen. Ow. <laughs> the first plate of the feast goes to their most distinguished guests, the visiting dead. I can imagine that Reginald Gates never tried plate de flamel. I think they'd like that. Before the living guests can eat, everyone gathers in the altar room one last time. To the sound of fireworks all across Mexico, it's time to say goodbye for another year. And that's a fundamental change to my way of thinking. You don't just acknowledge the dead once. You can look forward to their return as long as you live. 
As head of the house, Andres helps the dead back on their return journey. How, how do you feel about them leaving? Triste, pero con la esperanza de que el año que viene van a regresar. Yeah, I think so too. El año que viene vas a estar acordándote que ellos llegan este día. It's great. <laughs> I'd made an extraordinary connection that I'd never felt before. But stepping out of the altar room and into the sunlight for a beer didn't in any way feel strange. It felt exhilarating. And that seems to be the point of Day of the Dead. It's both tragic and celebratory. It's been an incredible, life-changing experience. I never expected the intensity of a celebration could bring me closer to my own family and even help me understand my own mortality. Maybe when you celebrate death, like Catalina's family do, grief is slightly easier to bear. Stop.